The Fab Four, the kings of the 60s. John, Paul, George, and Ringo, or as they're more famously known, the Beatles. Has there really ever been a band as famous? Well, with over 600 million albums sold worldwide and around 1,400 concerts performed, making them the best-selling musicians of all time, surely not. Formed in Liverpool, England, back in 1960, Paul McCartney and John Lennon, the two original songwriting members, welcomed George Harrison on lead guitar and later on in 1962, Ringo Starr, the drummer. In those early days, the band played regularly in Hamburg, Germany. It was there that they had a regular gig. They also played at the Cavern Club, which gained massive fame thanks to the band and remains a popular tourist spot for Beatles lovers today. Following numerous rejections from major record labels, the band was finally signed by EMI Records in 1962, and the group got their first number one hit with go on, guess, the catchy Please Please Me. Oh yeah, come on, you can't help but sing along. And so, Beatlemania was born. Sweeping through Europe with their bowl-cut hairstyles, their cheeky grins, and their mercy beat drove the fans wild with excitement. Soon after, they hit America where I Want to Hold Your Hand became their first U.S. number one and prompted many other British groups like the Rolling Stones, for example, to cross the Atlantic and have a go. This period in the States became known as the British Invasion, and the Beatles really set the stage for bands to become international. The Beatles went on to star in a handful of movies, A Hard Day's Night, Help, and Magical Mystery Tour, which received mixed reviews. They were also in an animated series, The Beatles, which was also broadcast in the U.S. This became a historical milestone as the first ever TV series featuring animated versions of real, living people. It was certainly becoming a long and winding road of success for the group. But some might say the success went to Lennon's head, as he famously announced that the group were more popular than Jesus. He was arguing that the Beatles and rock music attracted more attention than the Christian faith, and as such, was criticized for his comments. Some radio stations stopped playing their music. People were seen burning their records and posters. This led to the group finishing their four-year non-stop tour. They returned to the studio to record more music and were quite famously known to be experimenting with drugs around this time. A lot of their later music was influenced by their substance abuse and love for meditation and spiritualism, but ironically received mostly rave reviews from critics who rebranded it as psychedelic progressive rock and the period as flower power. By 1969, all members were pursuing solo careers, and the official breakup of the band was announced in April 1970, just before the release of the 12th and final album, Let It Be. The boys remained close friends, with some friction arising from John and Yoko Ono's estranged relationship. But the band never got the reunion that everyone was hoping for. Lennon was shot and killed by a crazed fan in 1980, and Harrison passed away in 2001 from lung cancer. Some interesting Beatles trivia. Yesterday is the most covered song in history. In June 1967, the band performed All You Need Is Love as part of the world's first ever live global TV link to an audience of approximately 350 million. The group's name was inspired by Buddy Holly and the Crickets, as they liked the idea of using an insect. Ringo Starr's real name is Richard Starkey. What's your favorite Beatles song? <laughs>